You know, I've spent a lot of years worried about people's perception of me. You know, when people think I'm like a certain way or a certain thing, and people, I'm comfortable with me. I am me. This is me, y'all. This is me, y'all. Take it or leave it. In 2020, I put on the most weight of my life. Weighing in at around 224 pounds, being 5'10", I was heavy. After watching Will Smith's Best Shave My Life on YouTube, I made a challenge to lose 20 pounds in 20 weeks. Yeah, yeah how much you doing? Instead of eight. You doing a full eight? I'm 20. I'm 20. Yeah, how many miles are you doing? I'm about 15 miles, man. 15? 15? Yeah, 15. Yeah, I'm gonna do 10. 10? Do 15. So what this says here, this says, this first floor. I'm gonna cut him all the way to the top floor. Level one. Let's go. Man, to the top floor. Fifth floor. Man, that's not even close to how many flights Will Smith climbed. How tall is the Birch Creek from? Is it? Yeah, I'm done. Um, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm finished with the best shape of my life. The Burj Khalif is 163 floors. <laughs> and he went on the roof. I mean... Can you do that? Yeah, but it's changed and I can't get to the roof. Didn't stop him. I wasn't did it. Yeah, he did it. With the whole team. So it seems that there's a high level of security. And uh, we can't get to the roof. We're gonna need some special equipment. This is not even metal, this is just a plastic chain. <laughs> we made it to the rooftop. I can see it, but New York City's right there. All right, there. Let's go. So it's a little, a little less than 30 degrees out here. Um, I just got a hoodie on. It's freaking cold. We just filmed my parody spoof for the best year. I'm just going inside. There's too windy out here. Okay, we just shot the parody spoof for Best Shape of My Life uh, after the Will Smith movie or documentary with uh, YouTube. A uh, huge inspirational film for me. Um, if you guys know, I look up to Will Smith a lot. I named my son after his son, Jaden. Uh, we just put E in his name because you know he's Asian. But definitely, I'm saying to suggest you get this book here. This is Will's memoir. Um, you know, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, the not letting MC to be, the freaking everything, you know, like when I read into this book, I'm still reading it, as you can see, I just bookmarked some of my favorite captions and quotes that are from this book. Um, and I find a lot of relatable traits that we have, which is another reason why I want to get a therapist. <laughs> um, but also, like, it's kind of interesting to see how people take these turmoils and their, these trials and that they were raised with and it kind of carries with them their entire life. No matter what persona they put on, no matter how the world perceives them, uh, the individual always has a, a self-reflection of themselves that they can't get rid of that makes them feel like an imposter. And that's where I am at. This is where I am going with my life, I feel like, just based off the character that I put out there into the world. I am trying to be as authentic as I can be. At the same time, it's like I have to create a character that um, is relatable, 
as well as uh, approachable and uh, is worth watching as an entertainer. And that's what I love doing. I love entertaining people and I love creating. So this is my way of expressing myself, creating films like these. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys like it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. I'm freezing out here. I'm going to go. I know the audio is probably going to be really janky on this video just because this mic is not my favorite mic. Um, but it is early. We filmed everything without anybody interrupting, anybody going into the gym, anybody enjoying on the rooftop. Um, but we're doing it. We're starting to film more stuff. I'm actually here. Somebody's here right now. But, anywho. Let's uh, go edit this video. Let's see what it looks like. Until next time, guys. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Be beautiful and future mind. Thanks for tuning in. Enjoying this short tribute. Uh, to Will Smith.